Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Patrolman Bobby Newton is the Cape Girardeau Police Department's new public information officer. The police department's PIO is directly responsible for providing information to the news media and the public with an impressive 27,000 followers on the police's Facebook page. We will learn what Bobby does as the public information officer and how he works with the public. Bobby, good to see you. Nice to see you, Mike. Congratulations on your new role. Thank you. So you have been with the uh, Cape PD since 2014? 2014, I started my career with Cape Girardeau Police Department. All right, and uh, what, what kind of brought you to, to this point? So I started as a patrolman, uh, working the road, uh, just like everybody else does when they become a police officer. Sure. Um, I spent about two years doing that, and then uh, the next phase was narcotics. I worked narcotics for about six years, um, and then after that, I went back to the road as a patrol and then in January this position came available and I love working with the community and getting out and seeing everybody so yeah I uh, opted for this position so like in this role like you gotta like to like to talk right oh yeah you gotta yeah, like you to talk and converse and right. exchange yeah. ideas absolutely I asked you we said in the opening about the 27,000 Facebook followers and I, I know you couldn't take credit for it but there was a great Valentine's Day post today there was yeah I've got to give credit where credit's due and uh, our assistant Sarah she does uh, some of the social media uh, outlets for us as well and uh, she, she came up with that and it was a great idea. I think it was what uh, we make your heart skip a beat yeah, when you and, see us on the street yeah, or something like that. Yeah, patrol car. Yeah, because so. it, 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 it's true you know even even whenever you're just cruising along at the right speed oh, you, you know you kind of you kind of just make sure yeah, things are right. Even me whenever I'm driving down the road with the family and I see a police car I'm like uh, you know I gotta <laughs> yeah. take a double look at that speed. Oh, where, so. where am I at? <laughs> you know I, w I was thinking about you know the 27,000 and that Facebook post um, I see a lot of social media uh, interaction with the Cape PD and um, I, I got to imagine you know when you're just looking at you know potentially getting leads and you know solving crimes that that's got to be a pretty valuable outlet it, it is it's great because a lot of the community will interact with us through social media you know if they sure. have a uh, tip on a crime they may send us a message because they don't want to tell everybody that they're helping us you know? right but right. it's a great outlet great tool for us to use and a great tool for our citizens to use to let us know what's going on because obviously we can't be everywhere at once we can't see sure. everything so we rely heavily on the community to be involved with us and to let us know what's going on in their neighborhood. And I know there'll be you know there'll be posts about about maybe a crime that occurred, but it's also great to see uh, you know that you guys stopped and helped somebody. You know just 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 that you know that community piece that I know is very important to you. Um, it, it just it humanizes yep. the badge, and you know? That's, that's exactly right. That's exactly what it does. It, it makes us human. You know, uh, most of the community, they see us when they're needing us, you know, right. when they have a crisis. Right. And for them to see us in our everyday lives of we're fathers, we're husbands, we're, you know, brothers and sisters. Sure. We're normal people, yeah. you know, so right. that we really like to, to show them that aspect as well. So on a day-to-day, -day, what is what is your role as the public information officer? What are you involved with? So I'm involved with a lot of different uh, areas, uh, but the primary is dealing with uh, news outlets. Okay. Uh, if they have questions about a crime that occurred or a report that we took, uh, they'll contact me and then I will get the details and get it out to them. Uh, I'll also work on our social media, you know, to keep the public sure. up to date on what's occurring in the city and what's, you know, going on. Um, and then other than that, it's a lot of community involvement. Uh, you know, if there's um, an event going on, I try to make those events so that we can have a presence there. And, uh, and then also just answering phone calls from the community about issues they may be seeing in their yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. So are you are you if you know if a, if a local school wanted to maybe have the Cape PD visit would that be something that you might do? Absolutely and I encourage that you know if you have an event going on and you'd like for us to come out and we could do a presentation we could just show up and you know have a presence however you you know however they want to see it we can do so and absolutely they can contact me and we can work that out. I would say your job has got to be a tough one I mean because you're you're really when you're when you're trying to give information you can't give all the information but people want all the information 
information. So how you know how do you balance that? Yeah, so I try to give as much information as we can. Obviously, if it's a critical incident uh, or continuing investigation, we may not be able to release all of it. But the public has a right to know what their police department's doing, and so I try to let them know what's going on, how we're handling situations, um, and you know, just be transparent with the community. I was gonna say, there's there's a lot to that transparency. I mean, that's, that's kinda how you garner that trust. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the thing, you know, a lot of people, they may drive by the police department or they may see a police officer and they don't really know what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, so that's where, I come in to kind of relay that information to the to the public of what's going on. It's a it's a team effort, you know. I know you mentioned meant you know working with the news and uh, news outlets and um, you know it's it, it, you need everybody to kind of be on the same page uh, and working together uh, to cover to to combat crime or to help solve some crimes. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a team effort with everybody. I, I know you, you mentioned about the, the community involvement and there's a couple events that are gonna be coming up. Uh, one of those is in April, I believe? Yeah, so in April, we're starting a Citizens Police Academy. It's a nine week academy. Uh, we'll meet on Thursday nights and uh, it's available to anybody that's living or working in the city of Cape Dorado. Uh, it's free, there's no charge for it. And basically what that does is they can sign up for that come in every Thursday night and learn what their police department does. So we'll have different um, areas of the police department that will come in and talk to them, give a presentation, uh, and then they also have the opportunity to do ride-alongs with us as well. Um, and then at the end of the nine weeks, we'll have a live scenario based training to where they can actually uh, take what they learn in the academy and implement it into basically life scenarios. I, I've not done one, but I heard, heard ride-alongs are fantastic to go and do. They're, they're great, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, and then I know we have, in August, you have another event coming up. Yeah, that one's a little bit further down the road, but August 1st is our national night out. Uh, we have not done that in the last few years. We're bringing it back again this year, uh, and it's nationwide. Uh, it's coast to coast on August 1st. Police departments, community, they come together and having basically a night out and talk on ways that they can combat crime in their neighborhoods, things that the community can do and things that the officers can do as well. Okay, and if they want to find out more about these events? Our Facebook page okay. is primarily where most of our news goes. Okay, so, so it can, can go there. I know this, you can, City of Cape has links to the Cape PD as well. Absolutely. So, okay. Um, Bobby, thank you so much. Thank you.